Hey, how's it going? So uh, I'm going to do a little quick uh, fun demo with this Mavic Mini toy, not a drone, according to the FAA, it's a toy. By the way, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not your lawyer, and this is not legal advice, this is for your entertainment purposes to determine the theory of the legal practice of flying the Mavic Mini. So I'm going to have some fun with this in this really cramped space. Why don't I take the training wheels off? Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna take the training wheels off of my Mavic Mini for the first time. I'm confident enough in the operation of this after like 10 minutes of playing with it that I'm not going to break its propeller fins. I'm going to launch and land it in my hand. So this is going to be a right-handed launch and a right-handed catch. That's uh, what I'd recommend. And I'm going to discuss uh, what that means in terms of Seattle and the operating rules that we have for Seattle. So, uh, of course, the Mavic Mini is a toy, not a drone. It is 249 grams. That is below the registration limit for the FAA. So this right here, without the guards, is 249 grams. And in Seattle, uh, they request that you pay them $25 a day for a filming permit, a general filming permit for any drone filming, any drone activity that is over Seattle property. That's sidewalks, parks, streets. Of course, parks have special rules that say you can't fly a drone. People, only specific parks you're allowed to fly. But if you're filming, of course, as you do, you need a permit, $25 a day. How are you supposed to do that? Well, like that. Just like that. You can take off and land the Mavic Mini easily. Able-bodied person with two hands, Right-handed launch, right-handed catch. What you need to do is you launch it with the emergency rotor reset action. That is to push these two sticks towards this central position. So down and to the left, down and to the right. Resets the spindles. And then launches immediately from a neutral position doesn't require 1.2 meters 1.5 meters above you it launches from your hand in a very tightly controlled fashion great feature really great feature you cannot reverse that do not try to reverse it you will thrash this around you will knock it into a wall into everything around you but I mean you, you saw this right next to me and my wife's HP monitors right next to me don't want to scratch those, and I did it. It was easy. What happens is, is that there is a uh, there is a vertical sensor. There's a sensor on the bottom of the Mavic Mini to prevent it from descending too far, descending with unequal power and you know uh, thrashing around as it hits the ground into your hand. It'll sense your hand, and it will start to resist. But you keep pressing down, pressing down, pressing down and it goes into land mode automatically. So better with your right hand, good, easier to catch, better with your left hand, easier to control the stick. Either way, you've got a great little feature there. Launch and land, right-handed catch, left-handed stick. Uh, and so what that means for Seattle is you hold this over a waterway and then you're exempt from every rule the city has 
the city can't own the waterways. The waterways are federal. FAA says this is a toy. Put this over a waterway, launch and land one-handed, you're good to go. I'll see you on Friday. I'll be live streaming for the Climate March in uh, South Lake Union Park. Uh, we'll see how that goes.